Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today we're going to talk about attribute domains. Attribute domains are a great way to establish a list of values. So when you're attributing your data set, it's just a great way to be consistent with a, a set number of values. So in my previous video, we created a grid index for the Durham County, and you can see here that we have, uh, of course, our grids. So say we want to do some edit checks. We want to go grid by grid, and we want to see if these have been uh, verified, yes or no. So to create a domain attribute domain, what we're going to do is we're going to select our select our feature class. We can either right click, go to data design fields, or we could go to data. Then under data designs, we would uh, select domains. Okay, so let's just right click data design domains, and we'll give the domain name a name. So in this case, let's just call it complete. Description, this is a uh, uh, list for edit checks. And we can have several domain names uh, with different lists of value. But for this example, let's stick to the one. So the code, let's say C for complete and N for not complete. Okay, so we will go ahead and save that. Close that out. And now in our feature class, let's go ahead and open up the attribute table. So we need to create another field called complete where we could link our attribute domains to. So we could say if it was complete or not. So add field, we'll call it complete, text. And we'll spring the length down, say, to 20. Now, under domain, this is where we're going to sign it. And here's our complete. So let's go and save that. Close out. And close out of that. Now, say we're going to do our edit checks, and we select. Let's open up our attributes, actually. We'll select our first panel here and say we uh, we did our edit check and we're complete. So we just click onto our field here, and we say complete. Now, we don't really see that difference now in our, our symbology, so we're still on our feature class. Let's go over to appearance, symbology, unique values, unique values based on the field complete. So it's either complete is this color or not complete is that color. Um, kind of a neat way to do that is maybe the color could be like a, like a grade with a thicker boundary. Um, let's see, we'll do that for, oops. Say yes to that, and we'll say the completes are just transparent, no fill. And we'll just bump that up. Okay. Sorry, let's go ahead. Since we have an aerial background, let's make that uh, a little more apparent here. Okay. And again, say if we're going down the line in our next one, we Go ahead and go back to our attribute table. And so we did our edit check. We could just go complete is yes. And right now I'll have it on auto apply. If I take that off um, and say complete, I have to click apply. So this is a good little safety measure. Um, now see if I said this was complete, but it really wasn't, or if I need to go back, I could just go back to null, or I could just say, no, it's not complete. And then just a quick note, guys. Um, so a shapefile, you cannot add the attribute domains to a shapefile. When you do, here I'm right-clicking onto it. Sorry, here. Uh, data design, it's just giving me fields. Um, this is just simply in a, a shapefile within a folder. 
your feature class has to be within a, a file geo database. And hope you find it helpful. Thanks for watching.